Hello, hello, my lovely friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different and something that I have not done before because, story of my life, I'm always late to the party. Late to the party and usually one of the last to leave, if I'm really honest. But today I thought it would be fun to make some paper, hidden paper clips. Now, I've never done this before, and I don't know why I've never done it before, because I love it. And it's just one of those things that, I don't know, I just never really got around to doing. So, um, I've been watching some other ladies here on YouTube make some amazing hidden paperclip um, clusters and all kinds of fun things. So I watched, I wrote it down so that I don't mess this up. I watched... Um, Melina at Me Crafty Scrapper, Julie, who's one of my favorites, at uh, Camellia Craft Designs, and Lolly Palooza. And I will leave their videos that I watched down in the description box below because I highly recommend that you watch what these ladies do because they really inspired me to do this. And um, I am eventually going to do them the way that they did them because I am hooked on this, I got to tell you. But what I decided to do that was a little bit different was that I wanted to get out with my I wanted to get out my rubber stamps again and have a big play. So, I started out with numbers because you guys know that numbers are my favorite. And I made very quickly before I went to bed last night, I just sort of made this prototype and I was like oh this seems to work <laughs> I mean it's not like you can really mess it up but you know I've been known to sort of mess up even the most easiest of projects so but um so I spent the afternoon um creating some just playing around with some stamps so what I thought I would do is I will turn the video camera around and then I will make some with you um, and just have a little chit chat and hang out for a little bit. Um, I played around with some different sizes in the sense that I just, I just really wanted to see where this would take me as far as what I might like, right? As far as how do I want to use these in my journal and um, yeah, so, I mean, you know, we don't really need a great big long introduction here of me blabbering on because it's, you know, we're going to play with some stamps, we're going to play with some paper, and um, what I decided to do is just sort of, in, in the interest of keeping it simple for myself so that I didn't get overwhelmed, I just decided to stick with polka dot paper, um, craft paper, and I did my numbers on number paper that I printed out. And um, yeah, so I got a bunch of stamps out. I did do a little bit, I don't want to call it collaging, because that's not what, it, what I did. But I ended up putting a few little things on them just to see how I felt about decorating them. Um, because after a while they started to look a little bit plain. But anyways, let's just get started, and um, yeah, that's it. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okie dokie. So, here we are, and I decided, like I said earlier, to, to make these in different shapes and sizes just to have a play to see how I felt about, did I like the bigger ones, did I like smaller ones, um, so here are the, the number ones. I'm going to be making a ton of these. I love these. Um, and then I started playing around with putting the tabs in different places and putting the little ties on the paper clip before I glued the paper clip in. Um, so the one of the big difference here, I didn't take the time to... Uh, ink around because this was more sort of just me figuring out what stamps I liked using what shapes I liked uh, this is my P.O. box number so I thought that would be kind of fun to put that there you know what is crazy I bought this rubber stamp I bet you I bought this stamp 
10 years ago, and I almost never use it. And it really, this, this whole idea, this project, I, this was my big thing. I was like, I have so many stamps that I just don't use. And I went through a phase for a while where I purchased a lot of really big stamps, thinking that somehow, I'm not sure what I was thinking, other than I just thought it would fill up a page, it would be more interesting, I don't really know. But I bought them and then I didn't use them, which, oh my God, story of my life, right? So that's one of the reasons why I thought it would be fun to do the hidden paper clip because it's a great way to use up stamps, in my opinion, that we don't normally use for whatever reason, right? So I was beyond excited to get this thing out and be like, yay, I'm finally going to use it, right? Um, so yeah, so I just thought, let's, let's see, play with them and use them in the journal, see how I like them, see how I use them before I go crazy and make a whole ton of them. Um, this, this was a way to just sort of get me started. And then I had fun sort of, I was like, oh, the, the back doesn't have to be blank. I can put something fun on the... So those were the ones that I started with. And because I really like, I just think it adds something. I like the, the, the way it adds a pop of color onto a, a, a blank page. I like the idea that I could coordinate what goes underneath, right? Um... Let's see, some of these could go on the side as well. And then you have the nice little bits poking out at the side there, right? Um, I thought this would be interesting to play with just to sort of, yeah, see, I really like that. Even though, the, you know, okay, it probably should go this way, but oh well, right? You never know until you try. So things that I might do a little bit differently um, going forward is I would ink some of the edges, of course. I might take the time to round some of the corners. Like, I think I would just work on some of the details a little bit more. That's that one, and that's that one. I didn't, this was the only one I put the washi tape on the back of, but I thought, well, why not? Now I put the I put eyelets in these these two um, because I think it was Julie at Camellia Craft Designs. She put little eyelets in there and then had these like these little things dangling off. Um, but this just didn't sit. I I couldn't get it to sit right, so I just decided to put the little bits of um, torn cotton. I quite like it. So anyways, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get out some stamps and yeah, let's start making these and see how they go. See what we get. So the other thing that I thought would be fun to do would be to get out my stamp pad, which I don't use as often as I would like to. And I thought we would play with using it and then that way I could make I could stamp out a couple at a time and save some time and then if I decide I don't want to use them for this project it's not a big deal right okay so do 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 both of these I believe are deep red stamps again that I got probably on Amazon quite a while ago and the other thing that I got to use that I bought a long time ago that I didn't use because <laughs> I buy a lot of things and I don't use them it's terrible was this stamp I'm not sure what the technical term is but I call it a stamp doohickey thing <laughs> and I found um it really does make a, a really nice difference to how the stamps come out. I don't know if you need to rub it this much, but look at the, oh no. 
This one came out a little bit meh. Okay, so let's try this again. I am not the world's greatest rubber stamper, I have to be honest. Let's try this again. Sometimes you see these things and you think, I don't need that. And then you watch a video and somebody's like, oh my God, it's so good. And then you're like, I totally need that. <laughs> I can't live without it. All right, let's see what happens here. Ooh, that's better. Oh yeah, that's good. I really like that a lot. Okay, so those will be great for the paper clips. And then I did this one on the graph paper as well. Because as you know, I love graph paper. And I did this one earlier too on the red. And um, I'm very happy with how both of those turned out. And I love this on the craft paper too. So, do -do 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 -do. let's take this off. And I'm telling you, I was going through my, my books of rubber stamps and <laughs> I have a lot of rubber stamps that I just totally forgot about. So I thought it'd be fun. We'll use this TV and this guy here. So let's put those on there. Yeah, the, it, you know what? I felt the same way about the stamping, the stamping um, platform. And I was like, I don't need a stamping platform. Like I can use a, an, an acrylic block. Oh no, that's not going to be enough. Um, and then once I, once I, oh, I was hooked instantly, I was like, this just makes life so much easier. I'm just going to pull this a little bit this way because for the very reason, like we just used it where I stamped it and it didn't look clear enough here. Could never do that again and eyeball it. <laughs> never. All right, let's try this now. So this TV stamp is deep red. And I think this is part of a set. I have to be honest with you, I can't remember. Okay, oops, don't forget to put down your little doo doo doo. Ooh, here's a little something. We'll have to wait and see what happens. I asked my best friend Katrina to buy me an old electric typewriter for my birthday. <laughs> oh no. Okay, maybe it's these things here. Try it like this. Um, oh, I moved it. Oh no. All right, let's be brave and see what happens. Um, I've been wanting an electric typewriter. I have three manual ones, and one of them's my grandmother's. And I don't, I mean, it's crazy that I would ask for another typewriter when I already have three, but I don't use them as much as I should. And I saw this electric typewriter on Facebook Marketplace for $15. <laughs> so I was like, if you wanted to get something for me for my birthday, <laughs> I would love that. So you know, to, to pull this all back together. Even if I don't get the electric typewriter, I was thinking the other day that I should start doing some typing on vellum and then I could rip the pieces out and put the vellum in the screen on the TV. I thought that would be fun. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know. Okay, so I would like to be like all the other ladies on YouTube who make this seem really simple and easy and they never make any mistakes. <laughs> and here's me making a ton of mistakes. Unless I'm not doing something... Oh, you know what? Probably part of the... I, I made the assumption that these stamps are the same thickness. And they're not. So if I can get the TV to work, I'm going to do that separately. I sort of made the assumption that because I'm pretty sure these came from the same place, that they would be the same thickness. But I don't think they are. Okay, so let's just take that one out and very carefully do this now and see. 
So yeah, if if I get the electric typewriter for my birthday, you know I'm totally sharing. I, you know what it is? It's the sound. I mean, let's be, it is easier on the hands to type. I hated taking typing class in high school because that's how old I am. <laughs> but I loved listening to the sounds of the typewriters. Woo, there we go. Okay, that, these are gonna make really fun paper clips. I found this, I can't tell you where I got this from. Um, Art is an adventure into the unknown world, which can be explored only by those willing to take risks. And of course there's cat hair on it. Yeah, I just really, I saw that and I had to have it. But then I hardly used it. Anyways, that's a conversation for another day, I guess. We could talk all day about <laughs> why would do we buy things and then not use them? I mean, I know personally I'm quite addicted to the thrill of the chase. Like looking for, finding, investigating. Yep, that'll work. I love searching for stuff online. And here in Canada, let me tell you, it is a search because I know there's probably a 70% chance that what I'm looking for isn't going to be in the country. So then I have to get very creative. But I have to say for my fellow Canadians out there, scrapbook.com is really amazing. And they have very, very, very reasonable shipping prices to Canada. I think I think it's anywhere from five ninety nine American to seven ninety nine, depending or ten I mean obviously if you buy a lot of stuff. But if you just buy a few things, I think it still is around six ninety nine. And I keep I tend to keep my orders under forty dollars American and I don't I don't end up with problems at the border with customs. So for my Canadian friends out there, I highly recommend scrapbook.com for things that you can't find here in Canada. Oh, that looks great. Now, I know that that's probably a little bit long for a hidden paper clip, but we're gonna give it a shot and see how it, or you know, maybe it's not really gonna hold anything, but it'll just look cool sitting in there. Okay, so let's see, what else have I got? We've got, um, this is a deep red as well. That one will make a really nice one. Speaking of typewriters, so let's do that one. And I'm just <gasps> Could be a little bit, just a tiny bit crispier. Crispier? Crisper. Crispy. <laughs> I'm thinking French fries. Okay, there we go. You know what? Not perfect, but that's that's all right. It still looks good. Looks a little vintagey, right? Okay, so what else? I think I'm not gonna do anything bigger, bigger. Um, you know what's fun is I have this. This is also deep red. Not deep red. Am I saying it right? Oh my goodness. Yes, deep red. Deep red. I know that scrapbook.com carries these, and I'm pretty sure that, though, that I got some of these on Amazon as well. And then I also found <clears throat> this very large airmail sticker. So let's, or sticker, stamp. So let's do one here, but what I'm thinking is I'm just going to use, okay, here's, some um, grid paper that I printed off earlier. So let's do, hmm, let's see if I can do these two together. You know what, for all of you people out there that don't live in Canada, you would be shocked. <laughs> and I mean truly shocked about what we can't get in Canada because, you know, we're a big country geographically, but population wise, we are tiny. Oh no. Okay, let's try it again. So a lot of companies, I mean, there's a lot of things that don't come to Canada. 
just because we don't have a, a huge population. So a little bit of trivia for you. That airplane's looking okay, but let's, I might just do a little. Canada, we have about 38 million people in total. That's the whole country. Where somewhere like the United States is, I don't know, what do you guys have, like 385 million or something? More people live in the state of California than the entire country of Canada, <laughs> which is crazy. I'm going to move this up here. So subsequently, a lot of things don't come here because companies feel like there's just not enough people to buy them or support it, which is why we don't have stores like Hobby Lobby and Joann's. And it's why we had Target. One of the reasons why Target didn't last for very long. There were many reasons, but it just, there's just not enough of us. So yeah, it can be kind of, it can be frustrating. The other thing is, um, because we're an official bilingual, damn it. Hmm. <sighs> Let's try once more. There, I'm sure somebody's like, Lisa, you are you need to do this and not that. So whatever it is I'm doing wrong, please tell me in the comments. Um, because we are officially a bilingual country, everything has to have both French and English on it. Any of the packaging. Like, I'm just looking even here. Well, this has Spanish, so they've covered all the bases. But there are a lot of companies out there that don't want to put in um, the time and energy and money into printing French. And so there's a lot of a lot of companies that don't ship to Canada because of some of our language laws, labeling laws. Okay, that's not going to work. That's fine. We'll just stick with the airmail. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut or rip. I'm going to try and rip everything that I want. So these ones, like I said, I did do some very slight collaging. I don't know if you can even call it. Cut and paste. Um, I don't know. I think I'm not going to do that on camera necessarily. Let's just sort of see where we get... I really love this coat. Mm, do I dare try and... Yeah, all right, let's try it. Speaking of taking risks, let's just see. There we go. Okay, so we've got that one. So yes, tomorrow, May 26th, is my birthday. And I'm super excited because my best friend and I are going to an um, an antique. It's 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 an antique warehouse. It's three floors. I kid you not. <laughs> it's three magical, beautiful, wonderful floors of junk. Ah, oh, and good stuff that I don't need. But I'm sure I will come home with something. One of the best parts about it, maybe I'll, I'll try and get some video when I'm there tomorrow and I'll, I'll do a video for you. One of the most amazing things about this place is on the very top floor, they have an, an enormous collection of old books. Vintage books of all kinds. I mean, I could go and spend easily two hours just looking at the books alone. Um... I mean, they have these sort of antique malls everywhere where people, there's all these little stalls, of course, right? And people have put stuff on consignment. And um, this used to be a uh, hosiery factory in Woodstock, Ontario. And um, so it's got these amazing wooden floors that creak when you walk, which I absolutely love. So it's kind of a tradition that this is what we do on my birthday. So um, it's only half an hour away, so it's not very far. And my best friend has a truck. <laughs> so she makes sure that there's nothing in the back of the truck. 
and so that if we find a bunch of good stuff, we can just load it up. One year she bought part of um, the the part of the the back part, the square back part of a pinball machine. Um, I would say this thing was maybe from the 60s. So it wasn't super electronic, but it was like a big square and it, the theme of it was something like um, circus. And she bought it and she got a glass cut to go over it and she turned it into a coffee table. It's amazing. So some, some years we've gone and we haven't found a ton of stuff. And some years, <laughs> we've come back and the truck has been full. And I don't even want to tell you how much money we spent. But you just never know. It's like a treasure hunt, right? You never know what you're going to find. Okay, so we've got those. It looks like everything that I'm going to do in this video is going to be, with the exception of the airmail one, I guess everything's going to be on the craft paper. So that's all right. Okay, so now what we need to do is, and I'm probably, I will stop because you don't need to film me, but what you don't need to watch me cutting out backs, but I'm going to cut out backs now for these guys and then we'll get to gluing. Okay, all right, here we go. So I've got these jumbo paper clips from Amazon. One of the one of the reasons why I liked this project um, was just the simplicity of not uh, worrying about the fact that this paper clip shows. Um, I don't mind it. I think it's really fun when other people do projects and you totally can't see the paper clip. But for me, you know, till I figure out really exactly what it is I want to do with all of this, I just like the idea that you can just basically tape it and glue it. And it was Julie at Camila Crafts. And she's like, yeah, I just use tape. I mean, that woman is a hoot. If you haven't followed her or found her on it, I don't know how you could not, but she, that woman is an absolute hoot to listen to. She's one of my favorite British YouTubers. So I'm just thinking here about this one's gonna go on the back. I think what I would like to do is put a little bit of this gingham here um just tie i really like the idea make sure i'm in camera here yep that i can just tie a tiny bit of ripped fabric oops i like to put the longer side at the back i don't know why I don't know if it will hold, I just isn't, I don't think it really matters. It's not rocket science. And then just be like, doo doo. I could maybe put a hole through there and then do the whole thing, but in the interest of ease, I'm just gonna do it like that. So some of the gals used different kinds of glues and things to keep their paper clip in. One of the girls, I think it was um, the Lolly Palooza lady she had a paper to metal glue that she used. But when when Julie got out her tape, I was like, ah, <laughs> that's my kind of adhesive. So i am just got a little bit of masking tape now. I should have washed my hands. Let's see what happens. Um, to stick that there, right, on the back. Then I'm going to get, where's my glue? Now, I haven't stamped anything on the back of this yet, but let's just get this on here like this. And I do tend, I, I'm a little heavy handed. I have, I will admit with the glue, I need to lighten up because I got myself some art glitter glue. It came in the mail today and it really is expensive. It looks like it's, it's amazing glue, but I have to learn not to be like, an elephant with a glue bottle. Okay, then I'm just gonna glue that onto there. Ah! <laughs> Speaking of, 
I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not very graceful. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not very graceful. Okay, ta-da! It could just be that easy, that simple, right? To now, I think though, I would like to, in the interest of using stamps that I don't use very often, let's, that's, again, that's why I really loved the idea of this project, because I was like, I'm just going to get out a ton of stamps, especially stamps that I don't really use, because we all have our favorites, right? We all have our, our rubber stamps that we just go to. Oh, super cute. So I thought this is another really great way to use stamps that we kind of forget about and rekindle our appreciation for them. Seriously, just that, just that easy. Now we could hypothetically put a tab on the side. Oh, I'm so excited to show you this. Well, hang on, we could do, oh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Okay, let's just do that. Now I'm thinking the one, one thing that one of the other gals mentioned that is good to remember, I always think of things going on the right side of a journal but it's important to remember that we would also be using them on this side of the journal I think because I don't know I'm right-handed I think of the right side but actually that's a little bit of a cleaner ripped side Ooh, look at that I'm loving that all right done and done so I'm also excited there's there's um, some of them did made these clusters oh my god they were gorgeous and I'm definitely going to play with this idea and really amp up this whole idea. But this just seemed like a really fun way to get started. Because it doesn't, you don't have to, you don't have to think about it too much. It's just like, okay, I want to use these stamps. I want to use this paper. And then I'll maybe put a few embellishments on there. So now let's do this because I'm also obsessed with this vintage label maker. So let's do um, type. I'm the world's worst speller, so be prepared. T-Y-P-E. Type. Good enough. Yes, I was one of those girls who had always said on the postcard, on the postcard, Freudian slip, on my report card, Lisa would do so much better if she would just talk less and concentrate more. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I can talk and concentrate at the same time. Apparently not when I'm spelling, though. Spelling and math. Ugh. Math still haunts me. I was a terrible math student. Terrible. One year, my teacher was gracious enough to give me a passing 50% with the promise <laughs> that I never returned to his classroom again. And I was like, that is a deal I can live with. Okay, look at that. Oh, you know what? This is, this is so much fun too, because you have this great sense of accomplishment. You're like, ta-da! It's done. Yeah, I may have put a little bit too much glue in there, but it's fine. All right, that now let's do the stamp. So the same thing. Does it matter which way? No. Okay, so I'll put that there. Now I'm just using up this little bit of masking tape because I want to get what I can out of the roll. Um... I don't think I'm going to put anything on the top of that, so let's just tape that in there like that. <clears throat> I think with the art glitter glue I will be less ham-fisted because it will have the lovely little teeny tiny nozzle on it. Okay, now make sure I do this the right way. Up. Oh, and I just, I found out today that Tina Turner passed away. Um, 
I mean, she was 80, I think they said 83 or 84. And I can't say that I was an absolute huge fan. I mean, I liked her music, but I, I, I now don't think I ever went out and purchased any of her albums or CDs, because again, I'm that old. <laughs> I'm talking about albums and CDs. So we've got a typewriter on the front. I think we'll do, I've got this peg stamp here. Peg stamps tapestry. At RS Tapestry. Ooh, I don't I honestly I don't know where I got these. I apologize. Maybe Etsy? Maybe. Let's put that there. Sort of officey and officey on the back too. And the other thing that I got out, oh, is this um because I'm making these stamps in May, I thought it might be kind of fun to put this here just to remind myself that it was May. This definitely needs a tab. And you know what I'm going to put on the side of it. <laughs> Stamp. Anyways, I can't say that I, I, I really could appreciate who she was and what she went through. And what a remarkable journey that that woman had in her life. Um, just very, very inspirational as far as just being a tough tough lady, you know. Okay. Oh yeah, I like the way that that looks like on the back as well. Yeah, all these amazing, all these, all these musicians and actors and we sort of, I don't know about you, but on some level I sort of take it for granted and think that they're going to be with us forever and ever and ever. So yeah, you just sort of think these people are going to be with us forever. And they do, I mean, there's something about some of these talented people that makes you think that they're invincible and immortal, you know? That they're, they're so larger than life when they're with us that you just, you just can't ever think that they wouldn't be around. So yeah, I mean, she led an amazing life and I would imagine that she really didn't have too many regrets. So that's, you know, when somebody passes, it's always nice to be able to say, well, they had a really good life and they did a lot. She saw the world. She made millions and millions and millions of people happy. She changed some people's lives, I'm sure. What more can you ask for, right? Ta-da! I love it. I love it. Okay, so... Let's, one thing, okay, so let's do this. What I might do is speed up. I might do the, put all of the paper clips on it and speed it up so that, because I think you get the gist <laughs> of how to put the paper clips on. Oh, I like this with a little bit of flowers here. Can I still sneak this in? Yes, I can, because I can do it, I can shut Poke it underneath that way. Oh, yeah. So the other thing is that I am a notorious, notorious night owl. I always have been, even as a tiny kid. I'm up all night, and so I'm, I'm you know, I don't usually go to bed before three o'clock in the morning. Part of that is because also we own, um, my husband owns a pub. And so up until COVID, he wouldn't come home sometimes until two or three o'clock in the morning. So I would always wait up, we'd have a glass of wine. How was your day? How was your day? Blah, 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 blah. I'll play with that. Oh, I've kind of got it. Anyways, I'll play with it later, but I really do like that. And then we would go to bed, right? So, yeah, which suited me just fine because I cannot go to bed. I can't. I just can't sleep, go to sleep early. But consequently, I'm not somebody who, let's just say as a rule, I get up after 9 o'clock in the morning. And I, I make jokes it's because I was born at 4 o'clock in the morning. So that's... <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but that's when I feel most comfortable. I love the night. I love the quiet peacefulness of the night. 
not that we live in an, a noisy neighborhood. We've certainly lived in noisier places, but I just, I love the night. I love the moon. I love how quiet and peaceful it is at night. Anyhow, so, but tomorrow we're going on this road trip. So I was like, um, what time are you coming to get me? <laughs> she's like, well, what time do you want to go? And I was like, I don't know. And she's like, Lisa, we really should leave before 11. And I was like, okay. Um, and then I'm like, God, what time? That means I have to get up at probably 8.30 so that the cats can go outside for a little bit and do their thing and roam around. I was like, what time do I have to go to bed <laughs> to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning? And I'm like, God, then what time do I have to have my bath? Oh, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, we, we're not like normal people who have to be at work at 9 Oh, I'm really happy with that. But let's put, um, let's see, what have I got for the back there? I got this gorgeous kitty cat and butterfly stamp, 100 proof press. I got this on, on Etsy, I'm pretty sure. And my cat, Sophie, she, she loves to play with the butterflies outside. The first time I saw I saw her do it and chase a butterfly in the backyard. I thought my heart would explode from cuteness overload. It was the most adorable thing I'd ever seen. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so let me just, I'm going to do all the backs and then um, we'll play around with a couple things. So I will be right back. So here we have the rest of the ones that we stamped out um, with the backs on. So they've got that like that and that and that. This one I probably should have pushed down a little bit more. I don't know if I can, no. But whatever, no biggie. I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter if the you can see part of the paper clip. What I could even do is go back and put something maybe a little bit thicker in there if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna be bothered. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got the backs on, so I decided to do two with the ribbon, and then these two without the ribbon. And then what we'll do is we'll just quickly stamp something on the back, and um, yeah, I'm not gonna go crazy on the decorating with these ones, because really, my whole intent with this video was just to show you um, what I think is a really fantastic, ooh, is my head in the shot? No. Um, fantastic way of a few things. Using up some scraps and using, obviously like we talked about, using up rubber stamps that you normally may not have, may not use very often. Um, obviously, you know, some bits and pieces of these sorts of things to embellish because I was thinking at one point um, it could be kind of fun to sew something across or glue some sort of trim or something not too bulky. Um, I'm going to be on the hunt for little teeny tiny pom-poms because I thought oh my god black pom-poms along there would be super fun. Yeah I mean these are certainly bigger Oh, we didn't do the other parts of the back. These are bigger than the ones that the other gals made, but um, it's still, I, they're still gonna be fun in the journal. So now let's use, I've got here, we've got these ones here. So I got a little teeny tiny telephone and a little tiny matryoshka babushka doll here. Super cute. And somewhere I, I got these. I love this one. This is a hundred proof press. So I would have got that one on Etsy. And this one, I don't know. Actually, I think this one came from the Goodwill. Yes, that one I found at the Goodwill. So let's put that there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I could be typing my heart out all weekend. <laughs> no, probably not, because I, I will be surprised if she gets the typewriter that I think she's going to get, if the tape in it will be any good. I will probably have to do a little bit of research and find some 
some tape to go in the I don't know if I would be that lucky if there would be tape to uh, that worked in the machine. Now let's put a let's put a tab somewhere. I want to because um, I want to show you this amazing trick that the Lala Palooza gal did. I I just I was so excited when I saw her do it. I was like, why didn't I think of that? Oh no, that's got the ribbon. I was hoping that I ha might have something more red. Um, so that it looked more like airmail. That works. Okay, so watch this. <laughs> this is genius. Every, you know what? It's just these things that... Okay, they're so simple, but so like, ooh. So this is a tab that I would have cut from this tab, die cut, from We Are Memory Keepers here. But what she did what was so brilliant is that she just stuck it in a little tiny bit. Look at that. And then she re-punched it, and it's a teeny tiny tab. And I was like, oh, I have so much to learn. <laughs> like, look at that. Ah, brilliant. That made my day, I got to tell you. Perfect. There's something about tabs that just light me up from the inside. I don't know what it is. But I think between the tabs and the numbers, I may or may not have been an accountant <laughs> in a former life. That's what I think. Or a bank manager. I did work as a bank teller as a kid when I was in college. I was the worst bank teller in the world. And I mean the worst. The worst. Why, you might ask? Lisa, were you the worst bank teller in the history of all bank tellers? And just between you and me? <laughs> because nothing was really computerized. That's how long ago it was. I mean, we sort of had computer screens, but everything had to be counted by hand. Anyways, I accidentally gave out, I was accidentally giving away extra money. <laughs> Uh, that's a story for another day. Uh, why I even got the job, I, for the life of me, I can't even believe that they would have hired me at this, at, but they did. Bless them, they did. Okay, I think for now, in the interest of you, me not giving away <laughs> more of my secrets, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I might come back. Well, I'll, when I when I do put the the things in here, I will let you know. I'll show you what I do, um, and I'm also going to probably write a blog post about doing these as well. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do want to do underneath here. Yes, let's do that. Do I want it in the middle? No, I'm gonna put it onto the side there. Now, I could do, um, do I have a black, I've already used, did I, are we already used, yes we did. There's something about these neutrals though that are really rocking my world and normally I really would like to add a pop of color but for some reason that just works for me so let's just stick with that. And no, I'm not, I know what you're thinking, <laughs> and I'm not going to type out pens uh, on my, on my label maker. Just to keep you guessing. There we go. I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't, I, I mean, you know, if you really, I'm not going to do all the collaging and stuff because I don't really think it will add um, I, because these aren't going to be the kind of cluster or kind of, um, hidden paper clips that need a cluster. It would, it wouldn't look right. I don't think like these ones that I made earlier, I love adding these little things, but honestly with these, I think that's it. I think I'm just going to, in the interest of not making things more difficult, which is usually my favorite trick, I'm just going to keep it simple and be like, yeah, this is a great project where you're just using your stamps and some scraps and paper clips. That's it. That's it. That's all you need. 
You, you just have those few supplies and Bob's your uncle. Okay, now let's just very quickly, before I say, see you later, alligator, get our, so that, oh yeah, that's, that's, oh boy. I really enjoy this. So then again, you know, tuck something underneath it. And then make sure that I'm, I'm okay. You can see what I'm doing here. Oh, this is good. So on this side, oh no. Well, yeah, that looks great. And then it would help secure whatever's in here. Okay, let's turn the page. Let's see what else we got. Airmail. So this one is a little bit wide, I will admit, but I like it. I like it a lot. And then that would, oh yeah. <laughs> I think that the lovely Julie at Camellia Crafts has created a monster here. I'm, I'm almost liking this as a really great alternative to pockets. <gasps> Ooh, brilliant. Yes. Yes, 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 is what I have to say. That could go like that. There we have it. Yeah. Okay, do it. <coughs> Make some. Make some so that you can enjoy this too. Yes. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because now I'm going to just start to get silly and ridiculous and get start geeking out over hidden paperclip things. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending this time with me. Um, I hope that you will find this inspirational and give this a shot. Um, Have a great weekend, everybody. Um, speak kindly to yourselves. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you for your support and your wonderful, kind comments. I'm having a blast with all of you. So I hope you will come back. And um, yeah, we'll make something again soon. So take care, everybody. Mwah.